I wanted to go over a couple of things, just kind of simple, basic things, nuts and bolts of where we're going with these gathering groups. Um, and, and what I kind of want to see happen with them and, and some maybe some uh, questions that you may ask, uh, maybe we'll get answered here. Uh, number one, we're going to, and I think this is so important to other gathering, every gathering, no matter what the age group is, uh, but food is always so important. So we are going to make sure that at each one of our gatherings, and there's going to be six of them total, um, two here at the church and four outside the church walls, uh, we're going to have food. And so that's going to require someone bringing the food. We're not going to rely upon our host families. So you'll make a schedule. Uh, the first night you'll sit down with everyone and everyone will get divvied up uh, when they will bring a food. Now they're mostly all going to have, have already had dinner. So this will just be a time for um, someone to make a quick snack, Rice Krispie Squares, bring cookies, whatever it might be, and something they can share with the group. We, wanna, we don't want to rely too much on our host families. Um, they're providing the home for us, and we want to make sure um, that we don't take advantage of that. So have your students bring food, and you'll the first night divvy up a calendar. Now, you're going to have to remind them or appoint someone in the group who will be the person who will remind the snack person every week. Um, and so we want to make sure that we're diligent with this. I think it's an important part that we're breaking bread together if you want to get biblical um, but but just the fact that kids love food and they love snacks and so we want to make sure that we have that as one of the elements uh, to what we're going to be doing um, the other thing that you're going to want to quickly do is and you can even do that now as soon as you get your student names uh, develop some type of Facebook group uh, where it's just unique to your own group that, you, that the people that the eight to ten students that are going to be in your group they're all invited to be a part of this one group uh, that'll be that will help you in communicating uh, to the the general assembly of your group the 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 entirety of it with one uh, post uh, and then allow them to post as well and share amongst each other um, I found that the really the best way to do it is to do an individual messaging on Facebook to each of the individual group members but let's use both of those let's use the group as well as the individual messaging that way you can remind people about snack I wouldn't rely on that completely but you can also tell people about events that are coming up in the the, the bigger group um, you can tell people about what your group is doing specifically. You could post stuff about the, the study that you're doing. Um, you could encourage them to put stuff about their, um, their quiet times. Uh, so any way that you can use Facebook, I, I would do that, and you can do it right away. So as soon as you get those names, begin inviting them to uh, that group page. It's important that you're going to connect on a weekly basis with each one of the individuals in your group. Um, that, that you now have 8 to 10 kids that you're going to be shepherding. That just doesn't happen on Wednesday, but it happens all the entire week. Uh, so you and, and your other leader, now there are going to be two leaders over each of the groups, um, div divide up your students and make sure that you connect with them on a weekly basis. That could be through text or a phone call. Uh, it could be through email. It could be through just even mailing something to, to them. But you're going to at least have one touch point, one connection during the week with them. And even if it's just to say, I'm praying for you, you, um, that would be good. So, uh, and, and the other thing is, as weeks fly by so fast, um, it will be incredible how quickly you'll get to Friday and you'll think, have I really even connected with any of my students this week? Um, and, and so what you're going to do is you're going to keep each other accountable, the two leaders. Hey, have you connected with your students this week? Hey, have you connected with your students this week? Um, and so begin to get accountable with each other. Um, these are uh, small groups are great avenues for encouraging students to get involved in, like I said, the bigger events. Um, and so you're going to be the, the biggest seller of summer camp, the biggest seller of going to paintball, the biggest seller of going to broomball. You are that person now. Um, it's no longer me standing up in front telling 50 kids they need to show up to an event. You're going to be the one that's going to be the one to encourage them to come and be a part of um, the group. And, and so that means you need to put it on your calendar. Uh, you need to make sure that you can make it to, to the events. Um, and so you as the leader now, you're going to use these events for your small groups to encourage people to bring friends and then later on come to the, the small group on Wednesday night and connect in with the group. All right. Um, remember that every Wednesday um, you are going to be kind of overseeing what goes on for Wednesday nights. So make sure that you're studied. Um, the other thing is remember the, the last Wednesday of every month. Um, we are going to be back here at Refuge, and so make sure that gets on your calendar as well. You won't meet on that last Wednesday. We'll meet back together as a bigger group. 
um, and I could use some of your helps on what we what you think would be best used for that last Wednesday of the month. Um, would it be best used as, as just a time of, of worship, maybe even of a time of prayer, uh, a time to invite friends? You, I, I'd love to get your feedback on what that may look like um, as we get closer to that time. Um, study time. This is so critical. If you're going to lead students on a weekly basis, uh, then you need to make sure that you yourself are spending time in the Word. Um, certainly preparing whatever the study looks like for that Wednesday night, but when you're not studying to prepare for the Wednesday night, that you make sure on a daily basis you're spending time with the Lord and being encouraged in the Word. Um, the other thing is that you're at least tending a service, uh, an age-appropriate service is what, it, what we call it here at Refuge. So if that's the main service, then and make sure you're getting there. Um, if it's relevant, then, then make sure you're getting to relevant. Um, but make sure that you are getting fed somewhere um, because you cannot lead on empty. Uh, you will not be able to lead your 8 to 10 students if you yourself aren't getting fed somewhere. It'll turn into a, a, a highly relational, uh, yet lacking depth in where we're trying to go spiritually with the students. You, you'll have a great time relationally, you'll do the events great, uh, but where are you leading them? And ultimately, we're leading them to Jesus, and we want them to be excited about leading their friends to Jesus. But if you as the shepherd aren't there, um, then then you need to get there, and, and you will. So spend some time in the Word. Um the last thing is this, um, each Wednesday night, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to report in back to me. Um, not specifically about what's going on in, with your, your students, unless there's an emergency, which I'll talk to you about in a second. Um, but it, I want you to be able to report into me and say what's working, what's not working, maybe something that's not clear, something that you would add or something that you would make better, um, something that I can do to, to help you as a, as a leader. Uh, and so more than likely, if it's for you, it's also for all the other leaders as well. So I'm going to ask you every Wednesday night um, after the guys or girls have left uh, that you send me a quick email and, and you respond to me and let me know um, what's working and what's not working. Or maybe you had a good breakthrough on a night. I, I want to encourage you in that. I'll be praying for you for sure. Um, but let me know uh, how things are running. Here's why. Um, we have four months to, to before su we break for summer. Uh, and we're going to break at the end of May. Uh, and we'll pick back up again in September. So we have about a three-month gap. But we have four months uh, to, to run with this, and I want to do it well. And so as quickly as we all can learn uh, from each other of what we should do and shouldn't do, uh, and the better we make it, the, the more smoothly it will run. And, and so I'm going to ask you to, to just be faithful to that. At the end of every meeting time, email me and let me know what it is that, that you would change or make better or what I can do to help you more. Um, just real quick as we're closing this, um, if you should come across a circumstance or a situation where you feel like this is something of, of great value, um, or, or I should say if something that um, you, can, you can't handle or something that um, you feel like, man, this is outside of my realm as a, as a, a volunteer leader, um, then you always have the green light to come to me and share with me. So this would be something maybe like abuse. Um, and then, then this is something that you do need to report. And the students need to know that you're going to report that as well. Um, so you can come to me and, and share that with me and I, I will uh, uh, contact the proper authorities on that. Um, so if, if we dive into that or, or maybe even if it's something like cutting, which is, is something that's pretty big in high schoolers, um, or something that just really you feel like this is beyond my pay grade, so to speak, uh, as a volunteer youth leader, then you're always open to come to me and share that with me. Don't feel like, um, in fact, I would encourage you not to keep that a secret. Um, that, and even if the student has said, don't tell any and don't tell anyone, they need to have the understanding that if they do share it with you, um, then you're going to share it with me um, because we need to uh, uh, handle that appropriately and get them help, which is ultimately what we want to do. We don't want to leave them out on the limb on their own. So if there's anything big like that that comes up, you always have the green light to share that with me, which leads me to this. Um, initially, as we as we start these groups, one of the things that you're going to share with them is that nothing leaves that group. It's, it's, uh, it's a confidential group, except for when there's something like abuse or something that they've done illegally. Um, and if they do, in fact, share that with the group, then we're we're obligated to, to let people know. And, and more because we want to be faithful to, to them and helping them out. Um, and they won't understand that initially, uh, but that's what we want to do. So um, we want to stress confidentiality, um, that what would get shared in the group stays in the group. That's one of the most important things about a about a gathering group is that they're they're 
they can trust each other. Um, and yet you're going to also going to share with them that if there's something that is abu of abuse and along, and along those lines, or that is something that they do that's illegal, um, that we're going to, we're going to share that. And you more than likely will share that with me and, and I'll handle it from there. Um, the other thing that we want to just really stress is that this is also a place um, where we want to have high relationship. We want to get to know each other better. Um, and we also, all with that, want to know, we want to get together to know each other better and also just really be growing in our walks with the Lord together. That this isn't just a social time, uh, but we're trying to encourage each other uh, in love and good deeds and growing in, in the, the knowledge of Scripture and, and closer to the Lord. Um Last thing, and, th and then I'm going to close this, is we also want to um, have this a place where we invite friends. Um, not necessarily winning them with the most fun events and all this stuff, but this is a place where students can, can get real with each other, where they can share with each other what's going on. And let me tell you, this may take time. Uh, it's not going to probably be smooth sailing the first couple of weeks and maybe even the first month or two months. Um, but over time, what we're trying to grow here is, is a bond that people can come into a group and realize, wow, there's something different about these students and there's something different about that leader. So I want to encourage you, um, stay with it even when it gets hard. Be praying for your students. Be connecting with them. Be relational with them. Um, and, and also, uh, make this a place, an environment. We want to teach the students this. This is a place where you can invite your friends uh, into a home and, and they can be growing as well. All right? I'm excited about what God's going to do with this. I'm praying for you. We've been praying for you for a while. And, and I pray that the Lord just blesses this time, that this is such an encouraging time for you as a youth leader and encouraging time for the students. And that we see at the end of all this, and this is kind of where we're going, um, growth in our students. Uh, that we see that they care about us and, and you're caring about them. And there's something that happens that is beyond our understanding uh, in these small groups. That it's just a unique time, of, a special time that our students will look back on as they leave high school ministry and think, I don't know what I would have done if I did not have you as a leader. If I did not have you as someone who walked beside me and I had these students who walked beside me. And we look back and we think, man, it, that, that was a season in Refuge Shine High School ministry that we grew. Uh, that's the idea, and I, and I pray that you're in for it. And if you ever need anything, if you need encouragement or you need prayer, uh, that's what I'm here for. I'll have a small group as well, uh, but I want to overall just be there for you if you need something um, in, in the area of prayer. I'm sure there's tons of questions you have, uh, so we'll meet together and we'll talk soon. All right, praying for you guys.